Hi, I'm Bill Wodrowski from uh, LifeWise Pet Nutrition. And today we've got a question from Emily who says, what size kibble should I be feeding for my middle-sized, my medium-sized dog? Well, that's a really good question because it's one that crops up all the time and we have different beliefs in different areas. For example, we send a lot of food to Japan and they demand that the food be small because uh, dogs will choke on big pieces of food. But in Australia, people want big pieces of food. Because the, so it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a mystery. To understand this question in more detail really is to, to take into account the structure of the dog's uh, jaw and a little bit about anatomy. Dogs have no sideways movement in their jaw, so their mouth structure and teeth structure is designed to grab, bite, cut and swallow. And if there are a few hard lumps in the food, there's a few molars down the back of the jaw to crush those lumps so that all of the food can fit down the throat. There is no digestive enzymes in the saliva. It's purely a, merely a lubricant and a sterilant. It's um, a very high uh, pH and that allows dogs to eat all of the horrible, nasty stuff they do without getting sick. And the lubricant just to allow all of this to uh, slide down the throat and into the stomach. And the dog's stomach is a lot different from a human stomach. It is a far more muscly organ, and that's where all of the chewing work is done. Um, the acid level in the stomach is much, uh, is much stronger than the acid level in a typical human stomach. So the whole anatomical structure of the dog's digestive system differs from, from, from what we would be used to. So kibble size to a large degree becomes irrelevant. If all of the chewing is done by the stomach, then the only thing that we have to rely on is the fact that the food can actually slide or fit down, down, the, down the throat. And from that perspective, we find that um, dogs can, as a rule, uh, accommodate a large range in kibble sizes and still live quite happily. I tried that with um, an eight-week-old miniature schnauzer. Some of you who read the Friday Funnies on the uh, on the LifeWise Facebook page will know, um, will be, be familiar with, um, with Millie. And at eight weeks of age, she was able to consume the larger size kibble that we actually make. So it just goes to show, you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be big to eat big pieces of food. Admittedly, some of, the piece, some, of the, some of the very small pieces of food can be problematic for, particularly some of the large flat nose breeds or flat face breeds of dogs, that uh, they can suck the food in and get caught. But uh, by and large, most dogs can handle most, sides of, of most sizes of kibble. So we don't see that as a real problem. So that's why we make a, a range of sizes. Um, the average size for adult dogs is a button size at around about 12 to 14 millimeters in diameter. And we find that that's a pretty good cross section size for most dogs. And Emily, feel free to feed that one with with confidence. I'm sure your dog will appreciate it. Thanks for that. If you've got another question, please send it in to us and we'll address it on another one of our videos a bit later.